Booth and welcome back to the Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Today's subject is the ear trim on a breed like a golden retriever that has uh, medium sized ears. We're going to be cutting around the edges and thinning it out. So stay right there and we'll be right back to show you more. So on a golden retriever trim, again, there's going to be all different types of ways to do a trim. This is just my way, the Amy Booth Blue Rose Kennels way. Someone else can teach you a different way. But this is what I typically do is I lift the ear up and I'm going to trim in around the ear right here. And this fringe right here, tendency people have to trim off too much in here and you're gonna wanna leave it a little bit longer because when the ear comes down, you don't want a big hole back here of too much hair that you took out and you don't want uh, to lose the volume of the head either. So there's some tricks to it. Um, first, make sure you've washed your dog really well, dried it really well and brushed it out so there's no tangles anywhere and we're gonna go ahead and start the trim. For the first part of the trim, I like to use either a longer blade or a shorter blade. Typically I like my shorter blade and I will make recommendations for scissors down in the uh, description box of this video. But I like um, my shorter blade because it doesn't cut quite as much hair. I try to balance the dog's head to the side using this arm to hold it still and this arm to hold the ear up. So I have a pretty good hold on the dog with this arm and this hand. And I'm gonna start my ear trim right here, not down here, but right here. I'm gonna go with my straight scissors, not too tight so close to the edge of the ear, but around, and I'm using my fingers up top to hold the dog so if it moves, I'm not trimming too much. And I only just round that tip of the corner of the ear right there, nothing more than that. So again, I'm lo looking up and I'm just took, taking this lightly trimmed around the edge and around the base. So straight up and around like a candy cane almost, but with not a lot of hook on the end over here. And again, you didn't see me do it, but the dog's ears have been brushed and combed out really well. I'm gonna let the dog ear fall. I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna, again, this, this arm does a lot to hold the dog still. I'm gonna brush the ear down, brush the ear again, double check it. And I'm going to trim again, making sure I got a nice smooth line. It doesn't have to be perfect because the next step is going to be coming in with your thinning shears to do some more. Um, but I'm going to put my scissors down. I always like to have a table nearby so you're not putting your scissors down on the table. You're going to want to uh, put the scissors on a table nearby so that the dog doesn't accidentally stand or uh, step on the scissors. So again, I'm brushing it down and then I'm gonna pull the dog's ear forward a little bit. And I'm gonna double check that line. The line looks pretty good down here. There's not much more to trim. The rest is gonna be with my thinning shears. For, for thinning shears, I use a pair of Utsami 4420s but any uh, thinning shears that you like, 4420 is the teeth count on the thinning shear. So one side is a comb and one side is a scissors blade. Again, I will um, put some recommendations down in the information box for scissors um, that I would recommend to use with this. Now we're gonna begin cleaning out what I call a V right in here. This is like an upside down uh, triangle. And we're going to start cleaning out some of that hair and we're going to clean it out with a thinning shears. So you brush from the back forward, from the forward back, and you have all that hair stand out. And again, this arm is really keeping the dog's head steady for you. Tuck this long hair down because you're not going to want to trim it. But you're going to start slowly thinning some of this bulk out of this hair in here. Now notice I didn't push in tight. I'm just taking the edges off. Okay, stop 
and brush because you'll be surprised at how much hair is actually removed by just a few swipes. So that's starting to make the shape of your ear for your dog from the neck into the ear. Okay, the next step is you're gonna start moving your thinning shears up a little bit higher and taking some of these wispies off. And again, notice I'm taking the uh, a light lay with my thinning shears on the dog's ears. Stay still, babe, stay still. This is Fanny, everyone. She's doing a really good job, isn't she? Everybody give uh, two cheers for Fanny. Um, anyway, light push. I'm not pushing in deep. I'm going right here on the, on the top level of the hair. I'm gonna take my thinning shears around the edges of the ear. And basically this is gonna clean out this hair in here so it's, it's easy for you to keep the ear clean. Again, the, the, the thinning shears is in the direction of the growth of the hair all the way around the ear. And you never really want to trim this top fringe very much. Most, most of the trimming is going to be on the bottom side to keep it very natural. And I'll show you why when we drop the ear down. Okay, so it's nice and it's blending with your thinning shears. Anything that's sticking out, I'm coming back for. And now I'm going to drop the ear down. Okay. If we had trimmed too much in here, you would have a big missing hole of hair in here. See how this is starting to become very, very natural and there's no missing hair behind the dog's ear. So now we have this long fringy hair up in here. Um, a lot of people will take a knife and, and pull some of this out or rake it. I'll show you. When I call it a knife, there's knives like this that will help you like take some of this fuzz off the ear. And so I just like to gently take some fuzz off. I am of the school where you want more hair left on the ear than less hair because the, when you take too much off, you lose the volume of the head. So you want a nice full ear. So I'm just lightly taking some of that lighter colored hair, that's the dead hair out, but not very much trimming on the ear. And see when you just flatten it down, it, it just looks good and it looks natural that way. You don't, less is more a lot of times on your trims. The only thing left to do really is to, to blend around the edges. And uh, just like a diamond has a beveled edge, you're gonna wanna just slightly bevel your edge of your ear. So I am taking my thinning shears at just the edges of the ears. I'm beveling it up just a little bit to neaten the look of the ear. So you can kind of see there's a layer here and then a layer here and it's just an, a slightly beveled edge. Again, you guys, look at how little amount of hair I'm really cutting. Very light trims. So you're gonna stop and brush again and see how natural it's looking with very little done. Uh, if you were to, a lot of people will go up and in with the thinning shears. When you do that, you're taking too much hair off. A lot of people will come down with the thinning shears that you're taking too much hair off. I think just brushing it and keeping the edges trimmed is, is really key. Now looking at the dog straight on, remember how I said not to trim this off? Now you can see how important leaving that hair on was because it, it, it keeps the softness of the ear. If you had trimmed the front of the ear like you did the back of the ear, again, it would be trimmed too tight. So what I do in the end for an ear trim is I just slightly, thank you, Fanny, just slightly, look at how little amount of hair is coming off. Slightly, 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 take those tips of those edges off. See how little amount of hair, people. Just very light. And that is how I do an air trim compared to the other side. Um, someone might say, well, uh, you started with a dog that ha had um, its ears trimmed a little bit. But in comparison, here's your side that hadn't been trimmed. And here's your side that has been trimmed. Okay. 
And then uh, the next step would then be to, to smooth this down into the coat and some more techniques. But that is a very basic ear trim on a golden retriever or like breed, you know, same kind of an ear trim I would do on a Brittany uh, just to get you started. It's definitely a starting point, uh, basic ear trim. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to do a basic ear trim. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments box down below. Again, the description box will have some information on where we recommend to buy scissors. Uh, and um, thank you, Fanny, for participating today. If you like what we're doing on our channel, please subscribe, like this video, and share it with anyone that you think might like it. We'll see you in our next video.